right now. Now for a little customization. See if it will work. We're going to go up to this guy. We're going to get our quest. We don't need to open up the quest log because we know it's this guy. Hey, who are you stretching it out there? Bob the Knob. And the quest was completed. And we're talking to him. And he gave us a new quest. Notice that we got a second quest automatically. We're able to change the character and his animation and added a dialog box. This is how I did it. First off, first off, what you'll need in your project is the easy RPG dialog system. So you can skip this part of the video if you don't have that or if you're not interested in using it, but that is the dialog system that we're using. So when you put that all into your character, what we did is this is the, the boss, the guy that you go up to, the NPC. We added a folks camera from it. We added a talk widget. We had uh, some component overlaps right here. Now there are already some components. This is from the easy dialogue. And then, of course, at event begin play, we put a sequence in and we added from this is the uh, save game. This is the save event from the NPC. This is the dialogue event, spawn dialogue actor, create event, update world marker. Now they both have world markers, so that's kind of an issue, right? Now you'll notice at the end here. Uh, we've got one on um, on event interact. Check for objects. Start multiple quests if you need to. And on the um, oh, is quest active? Add objective amount. Save game to slot. So this is all right. This is what we added in here. Right. So when you talk to the actor, starts. Um, I know I did something odd here. Update quest. Then what happens is I put a delay in and the destroy actor. So after you interact and talk to La Dude, 300 seconds later, he will disappear. We're going to change that to five just to see what happens and see if he leaves us. Now, this dialogue actor is on event begin play and that and that. I should check. And then he disappears. So there you go. That's a little bit of changing out. Um, the NPC adding in the dialogue from another system into the NPC of Easy Quest. So now you can see that the Easy Quest system is very customizable. You could add, subtract, and some of that coding in there might be a little redundant because I took it from another project that I was working in and added it to this one. So there could be a few things, but it worked, no errors. We're good to go. Okay, so we're going to start working with all of the different um, parts of Easy Quest and how to adjust them and customize them and stuff like that. So now you know how to insert Easy Quest into your game, change some parts of the quest data table in order to um, adjust your quests. You know how to change the fonts and work with the UI. Now, what I suggest you do is in collectibles, in enemy, in NPC, in location, duplicate each one of those and leave the in collectibles uh, and all the original ones the way they are. Now, I just duplicated it and it'll be in collectibles one. So we're going to be using the in enemy one, location one, and stuff like that. So first off, we're going to open in location. So what happens, of course, is 
I'll begin play. Looks for the save game. Loads it. If there isn't one, creates one. Then it, uh, true or false, it destroys the one and starts with the other. This is the print string that says, hey, we're not setting it up. Take that off later if we need. And of course, when it updates the world marker and cast to the world marker and sets it. And then on component overlap, which of course is the box, it gets the quest component in ID, adds the amount of saves it, saves the game, and then destroys the actor. What we're going to do to customize this, since it's in location, like a world discovery, disconnect the destroy actor, and we're going to say create widget, and then we're going to, from that return mode, add to viewport, And then we're going to destroy actor. We might add a delay in here. We're not sure. Now, of course, you got to have a widget to put in there. Let's see if we've got one. Andy. Don't know if I've made any more for this. We're going to import one from our original project. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a widget for our in-location widget. So right-click User Interface, Widget Blueprint, User Widget. We're going to name this Discover Location 1 underscore BP. Well. pp underscore discover widget and then open it up and get to the graph here you can um, get rid of these three all right so <laughs> what we've got on our event construct our fade out we've got a fade uh, play animation Play sound 2D, fade out, discover widget, add it to viewpoint, port, and then take it off. All right, now in our discover location widget, so on event construct, it's going to play animation, going to fade it in, it's going to play sound, it's going to play the animation forward, it's going to fade out. Now, I don't know why that has those errors there. Fade out. Okay, so we have to create our variable fade. I knew I had to do something. All right, which is our widget animation, our fade. So fade out. We'll go there. We'll attach it to the remove from parent. Now we should be good to go. All right. A little bit of adjusting of things. It's going to go on for four seconds before it fade out going to fade on a four second fade. It's going to pop in and fade out. Now, discover location. Let's see after all that what I just did works. So, our in location, discovery in location. Now, we've got nothing on our event graph anyway, so how can we discover anything? So we're going to, of course, add a canvas panel. And I am going to cut, copy, and paste what I've got in my other one there, which is West Side District and a cup of coffee. So there is, there's our basic our widgets a little off center there. All right. 
Let's anchor them both to the middle. Now we're all going there. Our spacing is all fine. In location. We'll bring that there. Right? And we'll see. We're going to say uh, first quest. And we're going to say discover west side. Let us now copy that. We're going to go to our data table and blueprints, data tables, dt underscore quests. You know that. Now, first quest. We're going to change. We're going to customize it because it was collect apples. And it was build a thug and all that. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete the two members there on our first one now, now just to give you a little more in depth here these were our quests this is the quest name that comes up we're, we'll change it to say discovery all right and it'll be a main quest and our area name now this these area names you set in another spot which i'll show you in a minute recommended level you can change this to say three and say oh if you're not at level three you can't get this quest this is your description of the quest we're gonna say uh discover a new area or discover there we go our objective is to discover west side Right, that was our objective ID, and we'll make sure it's right because we'll copy it and paste it. No, well, it's just the same. Discover, find west side. Okay, objective tips. Go down the street. Look around. All right, current amount, requires one, has a world marker. Sure, we'll see a world marker on it. And the quest ID, uh, you don't really need to deal with that right here. Right, that would be if you check the box, objective has another quest, you check that, you would put the second or third or whatever. Um, re rewards, let's see what it says. We're going to give us 300 XP, let's just give ourselves 12 or 21. Let's give ourselves 11 of those. And see all these items right now, they're, they're here, but we're just going to take the item part out. We'll do that in another section where we we're investigate it a little farther. Quest to add after complete. Let's check. Let's add that and say um, second quest. So now you'll see an automatic, how it automatically works. And we'll check this box right there we will complete another quest and we'll say second quest right here now why are we putting it in two different spots well i'm not quite sure i think in now you'll notice when we start there's there's, there's a green box there which we'll have to make hidden in game but for now it's there we get our quest from our dude right discovery right here our p Discovery says what we just said, find west side. Hey, Maestro, give me the full screen. Find west side, go down the street, look around. That's just what we typed. We gave ourselves 21 experience, 11 gold, right? Recommended level one, discover a new area. Now, we didn't change the locations. It was at Georgetown or wherever, whatever we uh, change it to. Now, when we walk through the box, it should bring up the UI. There you go. West side. Now it popped up and then it went off. So now you can adjust the fade and adjust the in and out. Um, so that it boom, boom, boom. All right, guys. You got any questions? I'm sure you do. You may call. My number is 867-5309. Jenny.